y'all. Current energy update. Let me split this. Current energy update. Current energy update. Current energy update. Daily messages. Current energy update. Daily messages. Current energy update. Daily messages. Current um, energy update. Daily messages. Shuffle all decks. Current energy update. Daily messages. Hey, bless. I'm glad that you came in. Good morning, Sister Diana. Good morning. Good morning, my beautiful. Good morning. They want you to know your daily messages. Keep shining, collective. You pulling the cake shining and people are eavesdropping in your business this morning. Okay. Yeah. These people who tried to jump you, but actually they couldn't succeed. I don't know, Bird. I do charge for personal readings. So it says they tried to jump you in the hospital intensive care near death situation. These people was not able to do this. No, I didn't have a rough weekend. My weekend was very restful. But these people, whoever these individuals are, they still your eavesdropping into your energy. They still being nosy. They still want to see what they can find out about your life. They still uh, press for you. I'm sorry you did, bless. It says, a person, Tom, a peeping Tom, looking over someone's shoulders, listening to your private conversations. So this could be what people that you stay with here, okay? There's individuals that's in your energy, and they're listening, um, try, going back and reporting uh, everything that you're saying here. And I feel like there's other individuals here. I feel like there's two set of um, groups here, okay? I feel like there was one group that was trying to um, unalive you or jump you or get you an ICU that wanted to hurt you. And then there's another situation where you could be staying with people. You could be at work. You know what I'm saying? It could be a numerous of situations. Okay. So these people are eavesdropping in your conversations, whether you online, whether you at work, whether this is in your household. Remember to take what resonate. And disregard the rest. Remember to take what resonates, disregard the rest. I do not do individual readings. I mean, I do provide individual readings, but I do charge. So if anybody is here asking questions on their specific situation, just know I do charge $60 for 45 minutes outside of this live reading. Okay, I do charge for my services. They are not free unless I am doing collective energies. So that should did all that. Okay, if you do need a private reading, you can reach me at 980-312-7821. Or you can send me a message simply here on TikTok. I do not do private individual readings online. They are done offline. Okay, these are free collective energies. This is the only free energy that I give out. If you would like to know more about our services, here at Creative Illumination then you can most definitely visit my website at creativeilluminations.net, creativeilluminations.net. Now that we got those people out my room, let's continue. All right. Yeah. So there could be a Leo energy, fire sign energy. I have count your blessings. Your, it says count your blessings. Your blessings are on the way and you will not be receiving whoever this person is who's uh, in your energy and that's being karmically... Um, displaced and trying to uh, see what's going on with you. They are losing blessings. They are losing account accountability and credibility here. Uh, I'm picking up a Leo energy. You could be a fire sign energy as well. All right. I feel like this person is, this is most definitely a fire sign energy. Um, people pleaser energy is hard for you to say no. You apologize or accept fault when it's not your own. When you are not the blame, stop hiding and speak up. Some of you guys need to speak up. Okay, so this is trauma messages this morning. Some of you guys need to speak up. Some of you guys need to voice what's going on with your situation. Some of you guys need to go heal. Okay, some of you guys need to stop being pushovers. Okay, all right. Yeah, this is this could be an ex-lover of yours, a fire sign ex-lover who's very stressed right now. And their lovers could be projecting onto you. Okay. 
And this is a fire sign, earth, uh, uh, it could be an earth sign energy, but this could be a fire sign Leo energy, okay? And this person is a people pleaser. I feel like his ex is, is projecting onto you, and I feel like that she is stressing. I'm picking up, this is a female who's doing this. And there could be a masculine that's projecting in your energy, too. It's going to be different for each one of you guys' situation. So let's continue to get into these messages. Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Okay. Yeah, I see a divine union here. Yeah, I feel like that you are not in any toxic connections here. And your ancestors are here. Thank you, uh, Zen, the sunshine. I feel like you, if you work with the Orishas, the Orishas is here. Your ancestors is here, a.k.a. angels are here. Malik, read me. I don't know. I do charge $60 for personal reading. You can send your cash app to Starseed1983. All right, Malik. All right, or you can get it done offline. Okay. The ancestors are here. Orishas, high vibrational energies, are you guiding me? They are guiding you right now to stay away from toxic situations. This is a collective energy only, collective energies only. I do not provide free personal readings. I do charge for my gifts, okay? And just to keep it all way real, this is a job, this is not a hobby, all right? So you, we are talking about your eighth house here, okay? This situation, your eighth house is talking about death and rebirth. I keep saying it, I swear, Diana, I don't think they be listening. I think they got wax in their ears this morning. <laughs> y'all know I'm in that Scorpio energy y'all know I'm, I'm I, <laughs> anyway let's continue grand rising kind <laughs> situation involves death and rebirth pin it yeah I, I'm a, I gotta uh who wants to be my moderator because I'm not gonna pin nothing right now this situation involves cycles death and rebirth someone's attitude toward change personal growth okay I'll pin it on the next live. I ain't got time for that today. All right. So we're talking about you could be a Scorpio here. You could be ending out a cycle. There could be individuals that are stuck in a cycle of death of. I feel like people are going through endless cycles of death right now. They're not going through rebirth. OK. Um, that's what I'm picking up. They, they keep repeating the same cycles over and over again. Eighth house represents cycles. Right. But I don't feel like that you are in this death energy. I feel like this is your 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 people that's against you. These people that's against you. All right, let's clarify. Tara, okay. Yeah, yeah, because you walked away. You're not part of this, period. Yeah, you, I feel like you're going through a rebirth and these people keep dying. Like they keep, they keep every time they come against you, they're going through a death here, but they're not learning. They're not rebirthing here. Big facts, they keep, yeah, repeat, they keep repeating the same fucking cycle because they hooked on your fucking energy. Yeah. But you walked away. I feel like you walked away from somebody who has a goatee, a beard, a chin, a chin hair. My, wow, confirmation. That's confirmation. Y'all hear that? It was an emergency, y'all. Y'all hear that? And there's no fire in here, y'all. <laughs> They take care of it. Yeah. Yeah. You say, I don't want to deal with any toxic problems. I feel like this person is going through money problems right now. I feel like this uh, person has healed from cognitive um, behavior here. I feel like this person was very impatient with you at first. I feel like this person was suffering from flashbacks, cognitive dissonance, depression, avoidance of emotions. A traumatic event has happened. I feel like this person with a goatee has healed. This could be a fire sign, Leo energy. This person has gained or seen some type of truth here and has uh, decided to heal from their trauma. Okay. I feel like at one time this person was angry, grandiosity, or it could be you. It's either that person or you. Okay, I feel like that you could have suffered from this or the person that you was dealing with has suffered from this and they are actually healed from this. Okay, I feel like that you had to walk away. You had to show that person your, who you were, I guess. Okay, me and my heart beating fast. Wow, Michelle. Yeah, I want to know who it is. Can I clarify? Okay, who is this that is learning their that has learned their lesson? I want to see who learned their lesson here. Was it you or them? Yep, that bitch been that bitch. Yep, this one. Let me get my gold deck. So who was the one? Who who learned their lesson here? So 
somebody who wants I feel like this friend here, this person here, yeah, ace this 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 page of pentacles energy. Yeah. This page of pentacles is going to turn into a knight of pentacles. This is a knight energy. So a Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. Somebody is having to uh having nightmares, bad dreams, bad memories, dealing with people from the past. Okay. Somebody wants to offer you a friendship here, but it's more than a friendship. This person wants to ha actually wants to offer you more or give you something. Okay. This person does not want to end this cycle with you. Death energy in the reverse. Okay, so this is a Scorpio energy, earth sign energy. This person has been meditating and thinking about toxic relationships they they have been a part of. And I feel like this person is still hooked on your energy. Who is hooked on whose energy here? Daily messages. Who's hooked on whose energy? Okay, so I feel like this person who juggled your energy with somebody else, or earth sign energy. This could be a masculine that's still hooked on your energy. Okay, or this could be two females, okay, that's hooked on your energy. Yeah, this Empress energy is still hooked on your energy. Yeah, and this Queen of Cups energy. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to say Queen of Cups, but this Ace of Cups energy in the reverse. I feel like he juggled you with these women, and they're hooked on you to see, possibly if he's coming back towards you. I feel like these individuals are going through money problems. Who's going through money problems? Yeah, yeah, because he's not helping this community out anymore. Yeah, also this High Priest is in the reverse. Okay, yeah, the choice has been made for him to walk away. And all of these people, I feel like all three of them are all having money problems. We done? Okay. All right. And I feel like this masculine had to live, had to learn, had to understand the complexity of what was going on with the situation. And he's deciding to walk away from a, a, a water sign energy, a cancer energy, and a, um, a cancer energy in the reverse, a baby mama. Okay, it could be two baby mamas. And a girlfriend or a lover, okay? On point, as always. Thank you, Angelic. So that's what's going on. So a lot of meditation, a lot of thinking, a lot of, damn, I was in a lot of toxic connections. This person is ready to walk away from toxic connections. I feel like you had to show him. Come in. You can use a tea pot to go to the store. Okay. Toxic problems or whatnot. So I feel like that this situation is over with. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Let's see. Three. Six. And let's do a couple more. This one. I see that you have a purpose here. See, you, yeah. It seemed like somebody purposely got into a marriage or somebody was purposely doing something. But we'll see if, this, if that card comes out. So we're going to go ahead and finish. Yeah, more than friends. Somebody... Whatever, more than friends is in the reverse. Someone has completed a cycle, and I guess if this, if your person was dealing with people they was calling their friends, that cycle is over with. Just make me, just I know, sis, I know, yeah, but you are on your way to rags and riches, okay? Daily messages, you are tapped into the Akashic Records, so. You have been granted access for some of you guys, not all of you, okay? You are going me. Uh, I'm not, I don't understand it. Big fact, claim it. Yeah, but the Akashic Records is that you can tap into these people, life purposes, their passions, their livelihoods, and you can expose them. But I feel like that you have been granted this particular position because... The universe trusts you with certain pertinent information. They know you won't go against the grain. But this is to help people understand, understand, and help them find their life purpose. That's the only reason why you're 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 tapped into the Akashic Records. Is to help people find their purpose, their life goals, and help them find stability in their life on a spiritual on a spiritual level. I feel like that some of you guys may like the gunja. Okay, let's continue. I don't want to put that back. Yeah, some of you guys could be spiritual assassins, like you drag demons to hell. Okay, some of you guys are spiritual assassins. 94 may be significant here. 
This situation involves someone's religion, ideologies, higher learning, and travel philosophies. The reason why somebody ended a relationship with you is because of your belief system. It's what I'm picking up. And I feel like this this is why this person walked away from you and decided to go towards toxic connections because that their family didn't approve of your spirituality or whatever that you believe in, okay? And or so much you walked away because of this person's spiritual belief system. Okay, fourth house. I feel like there's stability here. Okay, this uh, card reads one sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestral heritage roots. I told you this was based off somebody's family. Ones have, this was based off how one's family view you. So they, they did not want to leave you, but they had to leave you because of what their family would think about you. Yeah, because you're connected to the Christ conscious Jesus seed. Because you tapped in because you're ascended master, period. I feel like this person at one time was standing around, did not want to, did not help you, let people uh, talk talk badly about you, did not stand up for you. But I feel like this person is willing and is ready to stand up for you now. I feel like this person know that they sabotage this connection and they don't want to do it no more. They want to actually heal this connection now. And they understand that they sabotage this connection. They understand that they just sat down, sat around and let people just talk shit about you and and act like they didn't know any better. They knew better. They they knew they let this happen. They should have stood up for you, and they didn't. They let their family, you know, what I want to say, um, dictate who they should be with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you was always in high vibrational energy, and this is what you left with this particular person's energy on this particular energy's mind and their soul and their spirit, that you was always high vibrational energy. Okay? Yeah. And I feel like this person is your divine masculine. I keep saying earth sign energy. This is somebody who's ascended here. Uh, 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 God energy, divine masculine, a natural born warrior. Always stand your ground. You won a war caused by pain. So divine masculine went through some trauma himself. Yeah, six house. These people was, this is what they was doing routinely, was trying to manipulate your energy, trying to keep this masculine from coming towards you, was Playing in your face, playing in this masculine face, playing in y'all energy. What does what someone does routinely, their responsibility, their skills, their training, their employment. I feel like you do this. This is your job. This could be your career here. Let's clarify. What is this career energy? Maybe this is what you do and this is what you do for a life. You could be a spiritual advisor, life coach, health coach, whatever that you do. These family members don't like it. Period. Yeah. Yeah, they thought you was the devil here, spiritually spying on you. Yeah, there was an air sign energy, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that cannot spiritually spy on you anymore. These people was routinely spying on you. Yes, you you are read me. I do charge, Caden, if you do need a reading. I charge $60 offline for 45 minutes. Okay, these people were spiritually spying on you, and now they have been stopped here. These people were trying to find ways to unalive you. I told you they tried to send you an ICU. I tried to tell you they tried to take your life. I'm trying to tell you they tried to end you out of this cycle, try to take you out this realm. But they have been blocked here. All right. Yeah, they treated, they treated you unjustified here. Okay. It ain't no more about the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. It's all about healing now. I'm tired of hearing that shit. Oh, he should have did this. He should have did that. And he should have. Nah, the thing is, people got to learn their mistakes. Yeah, these people are spiritual haters. I'm tired of hearing about it, though. This masculine went through spiritual trauma. You went through spiritual trauma. Spiritual. Yeah, spirit, these people are spiritual haters. They couldn't stand your spirituality because you would point they bullshit out. You would put, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like this. Either you learn, either you get on the bus or you get ran over. It don't even matter no more. I ain't got time for the resentment. Or for the anger, or they should have did this, or they should have did that. The thing is, now let's get on this healing trip because we spend too much. We spend too much energy being hateful. Thank you, big pressure. We spend too much time trying to discredit or saying this. This should have happened this way, or this should have happened this way. No, let's talk about now. What we gonna do now? Cause what happened in the past and to stay in the past. I'm gonna be all the way real with y'all, man. I'm gonna be all the way real with y'all. Stay, man, if you stay in the past, guess what's going to happen? And your mental going to stay in the past. Your physical going to stay in the past. It's time to move on. 
You know what I'm saying? We let that shit happen. Now it's time to go. He learned his lesson. You learned your lesson. Don't give these people no more of your energy. They ain't worth it. Because people, he had to learn. You had to learn. Right? We had to learn. People change. People change. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Spiritual trauma. This masculine went through spiritual trauma. He went through mental trauma. Emotional trauma. Physical trauma. You went through the same thing too. So who are you to judge? That's just like we go to God and God know we went through all of this, but because we did it, you know what I'm saying? You think God, you, you think God going to turn, turn, uh, God going to turn his back on us? No. So why would you turn your back on somebody who needs spiritual help? Okay. User get in contact with me at 980-312-7821. I'm just, this is the, the thing about forgiveness because you can't have no nasty heart out here. You can't be mean. You can't be rude. People go through different levels in life, man. Everybody deserves a second chance. This is what I do here at Creative Illuminations. Everybody deserves second chances, right? Because we all have to take accountability for our actions. See, you wouldn't be saying that if you knew better, you would have done better. Y'all feel me? If you would have knew better, then you would have done better. If you knew they was going to try to destroy your life, then you would have left out that situation. Why did you stay there? Sand Sando, why did you stay there? Why did you stay there if you knew he was, if they was treating you like a piece of shit? I want to know. Why did you stay there? I want to, I'm being all the way real. Why did you stay there? Okay. Then why, if you had already left, then why are you feeling regretful? Remember, you let it happen to you. Get that shit at your heart, man. Get that resentment at your heart. Get that shit at your heart. <clears throat> I'm being all the way real. I just, look, I just speak the real. I ain't here to sugarcoat shit, and I ain't here to get on nobody. Uh, and I'm not here to get on nobody goddamn bandwagon to, to discredit somebody who was also traumatized in their life, too. Yep. Because you still going through trauma. You haven't released that, or at least... Bye. Have a good day, Sandal. Because this is not the reading for you. Have a good day. <clears throat> People don't want to heal and don't want to don't want to take accountability for their own actions. Because if a person already showed you their true colors and you still stayed in that situation, guess what? You left yourself susceptible to be a fool to that energy. Now, now it'll be pretty funny if you go to heaven and God say, hell no, you can't get them coming my gates because you didn't forgive your person. I'm going to just be all the way real. So, so, so it's okay for you to hold that resentment. But when God come and call you and you get ready and get judged, it's okay for you to, it's okay for God to forgive you, but it's not okay for you to forgive this man or this woman for what they did to you. This is where your test come in at. Stop. I'm trying to tell you. Stop playing with it, man. What the fuck? You, it ain't like you got to get back with the mug, but you got to move on and get past that hate and that resentment, man. How you think you're going to how you think you're going to manifest? Check this out. How you think you're going to how you think you're going to manifest a new beginning if you always hateful and you always blaming your past for your shoulda, coulda, wouldas or for they shoulda, coulda, wouldas because you want to be stuck and stagnant in, inside of a certain mindset because you don't want to goddamn move on. That's a personal choice there. It's a personal choice. And I don't care if I lose viewers. Because I speak nothing but facts. With your hurt ass. Now get off of my channel. My energy ain't stuck on no sandal. <laughs> I'm speaking facts. It's called, you gonna listen to me? Or you can get out my room until I finish what I, what I got to say. Because I am that bitch. And I am that Scorpio. And I do end situations here. Stop playing with it. And if you don't like what I say, you can go to peace to the Middle East. Because we do. We are those spiritual assassins. And we don't give a fuck about nobody likes, shares, or comments about what the fuck y'all got going on. Because we here to heal. Now you can get on the motherfucking magical school bus and get ran the fuck over. Which way you want it. Now let's continue. Past will hunt you if you do not let go. Exactly, bless. And I'm going to just keep it all the way real. And that's how I get down on my channel. We ain't got time for that because we will extremely cut that ass off, you piece of trash. And that's what my ancestor said. Stop playing with it. Because we, we really about that. This is the Trill Entertainment family. We give not two shits will come out of our mouth because we keep it real and authentic. We don't kiss nobody ass around here. Did I make myself clear? 
Thank you, Alicia. Because we bring that water every, every time. And y'all out here want retaliation. This is y'all energy. Stop playing with me. That's all y'all want. Y'all need to go fucking heal yourself. That way. Now go report that shit. All right. Now let's get back to the energy. Y'all see? That's how you transmute energy. And now we back into our love and life. <laughs> we on a whole new level here, man. Yeah. <laughs> let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a snake but I stepped in I got stuck thought I was special but I learned had to forgive exactly man it's all about forgiveness man it ain't for them it's for you man hey Faye hey Ari <laughs> yeah they pissed off because these are these some karmic individuals this masculine is single now man current energy update current energy update this masculine is single now and these karmic energies feel rejected because he still say that you were his fucking fantasy man that's what's going on they hurt they butt hurt trying to get dang get pregnant trying to get this masculine trying to get what blah 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 <laughs> they trying to entrap this masculine with babies and shit man here we go again <laughs> Here we go again. He has awakened. Now, I ain't going to say everybody, Anna. You know this is a collective energy. Left out loud. I got the baby for real. They big mad. Yep. <laughs> facts. Big facts. I know that's right. Diana. You know they mad. <laughs> yeah, he ain't trying to. Yeah, I feel like, what's this? TikTok. Deadline. Time is running out. Shit, God done extended this goddamn situation here because I guess this masculine wanted to come back around. I guess he healed now. So, you know, because this is a divine connection. All right. He has some no conversations. He's not having no conversations with anybody right now. I feel like he's not talking to you. Clarify this um, this interview in the reverse. What's this interview in the reverse? No, he's not accepting any apologies from anybody here. Yeah, this half energy in the reverse. Yeah, this king of cups energy in the reverse. This king of cups. Realize that his these lovers was a fool. A fool. These lovers were not... The it factor. These lovers were just not what he thought loyalty would be. So he he he's cutting off conversations here. Also with the earth sign energy. Someone who gave negative, false, bad advice about you. It's over with. And I think I'm done. Yeah. This, this these contracts, this, this collaboration, this masculine is not even is not even collaborating with these people in, anymore because the truth has been exposed here. Yeah, about a cancer energy. He's moving forward. Yeah, he had to. Th he had a dead three people here. This masculine is on his in his Scorpio energy. I feel like he he walked away from his two of cups to be with these three lovers here. A queen of pentacles in the reverse. These these were only threesomes. These were third party energies that interfered in you guys' relationship. Yeah, but he has been released from this burden here. Yeah, because he was all. Yeah, he was under burdens. He has been released from being stuck. From these obligations. This masculine was Burton. Air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's over with daily messages. This person is in meditation. Thinking. You know, pondering. Learning. That he had to deal with spiritual traumas. Mental traumas. Life traumas. He's realizing that the only reason he picked these people was because he was abused as a child. Or as he was getting older by picking karmic lovers. He thought that was love. But he never experienced that love from parents. Or from whoever that raised him. And he's gaining a realization about that now. Yeah. The thing is, it's not about what he did, y'all. It's about what the trauma he went through. A lot of people can't see, yo, you're good. Thank you, K. Marie. Tell my story, friend. You know I will, Faye. A lot of people don't understand that this thing is bigger than cheating. This thing is bigger than woman abusing and and, and a man, um, masculine abusing and verbal abuse and physical abuse and sexual abuse. This thing goes back to emotional trauma. How one is raised in their household, but their parents was against you that are fucking karmic. They didn't even teach their son how to love or their daughter how to love. They instilled fear in him and that's why he instilled fear in everything else that was around him. 
Because they thought that was love. Because they was in generational curses. His parents was in generational curses. His parents' parents was in generational curses. Do you see what I'm getting at? That's why I don't go, come on my channel with that bullshit talking about, oh, I won't heal. He won't heal. They won't heal. I ain't got time for that because the shit is deeper than what you think it is. We're talking about generational curses that's been going on for eons and eons and years. Thank you, Faye. And this is what we're here to break. Generational curses. Not just talk about somebody in a relationship or how they did this and how they did that. Well, let's talk about why did he do this? Or why she did why did she do this? Let's talk about the family. Yeah. Cause he was raised by the fuck by a fucking woman, a womanizer. Emperor in the reverse. He looked up to his daddy. But his daddy got them that did not give him the correct way or the correct formula how to treat a woman. Stop playing with it. Like I said, you cannot blame that masculine. You can't. <laughs> Only thing y'all can do is come together and heal, man. Because this thing is bigger than what you think it is, man. Huh? Anything else? Let's close it out. One of these. Let's close the message out. You can hear gotta dig all that out and change. Exactly, Hagen. Exactly. That's it. You can, man, you can break the generational curse, but some people don't realize it. They don't see because, you know, sometimes they may be on drugs. They may be too, too narcissistic. I mean, you know, some people may be too lost. They're never lost. They have to make the choice. It's, it's not about being lost. It's about making the choice because overall, all of us have a choice to make. You know, some people can see it and still want to live that narcissistic life. And some people say, man, I'm tired of living this life. Hell, I was one of them. Hell, I used to be out here pipping females. But you don't see me out here doing that shit now because I made a choice. Right? I made a choice to get off the drugs. I made a choice to get out that gang. I made a choice to to live my life better. I made a choice to not live a, 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 promis a promiscuous lifestyle. I made a choice to do better. It's all about a choice. If this man want to change, he can change. You can't tell that man he going to be stuck in that damn karmic energy because he did this to you. You was part of the plan to help him change, to be the catalyst to the change. How about that? It's a choice. At the end, this is free will. You can't make nobody do nothing. But what you can do is control how you respond. All right? And these comics can't handle the fucking truth because this masculine has wised up and he don't want no more goddamn booty calls anymore. Stop playing with it. And he done gave up the hustling. Pimping. Whatever the case may be. Stop playing with it. And he's on the verge of telling you the truth about these no strings attached relationship. They have no control over this masculine anymore and he wants to be with you. Sometimes you got to set the example to be the example so he can learn from you. I mean, you are God, right? Oh, what I mean by that, you're not God, but you in God body energy, right? Follow the leader. Hmm? Goddess? Ain't you a goddess? Masculine, ain't you a god? I mean, you're made in God's image, okay? They fear us because they because we call ourselves by our name, Erica Badu energy. Okay? I'm made in God's image, so I'm going to say I'm a goddess. The fuck? <laughs> All right, let's go, man. <laughs> yeah, waiting for you to come. This person may be waiting for you to get in contact with them, or you may be waiting on them to get in contact with you. Are you waiting on them, Divine Feminine? We're going to get up out of here. Yeah. Uh-oh. Y'all ain't see that, did y'all? <laughs> I got my tree ready for me. <laughs> get up out of here y'all daily messages is uh this masculine or you whoever this message uh, resonates to is learning yeah i feel like i feel like this masculine um has learned a lot yeah he's ready to come and tell you the truth about why he was jealous he could have been jealous of you at one time he want to come and tell you the truth about the people that was jealous of you guys right you know I'm finna get some rest and I'm finna get up out of here. You know I gotta go to work too. I gotta get up out of here. He finna come and tell you the, the choice. The, the choice. He's making a choice to come towards you to tell you the truth about these jealous ass people. Period. And we're gonna end it out. One more card please. 
Yeah, he's walking away from the community. Yeah, he done laid this shit to rest with this Capricorn energy and these toxic relationships and these toxic behaviors and these drug drug addictive ways and whatever else that's going to cause him to live a, in a lackluster mindset. And I'm out of here. I love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. This Queen of Wands energy is in the reverse. He got rid of that hole too. All right. So that's the Aries Leo Sag energy. Yeah, that person been kicked out too. Yeah. So I'm going to talk to you guys soon. And thank you for um, listening and commenting. And if you guys need any readings, you can reach me at 980-312-7821. Thank you, Zen. I appreciate you at 980-312-7821. You can also uh, visit my website at creativeilluminations.net. I got my website up, guys. It's so fucking dope. I, enjoy, I'm, I really put a lot of hard work into building it. You can reach me at Creative Illuminations. That you're, thank you so much, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you, everyone. Um, Creative Illuminations at Net. Um, this video will be uploaded on YouTube on my other Tarot channel. Where I have over a thousand videos. I got current videos over there too at the Hard Knock Life of Tarot. The Hard Knock Life of Tarot. Again, if you guys want to check out the other videos that I posted over the weekend, I got a lot of videos over there at the Hard Knock Life of Tarot. The Hard Knock Life of Tarot. This video will be over there soon. Yeah, this was a collective. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. You guys are the best. I love you, tribe. I shay. Namaste. Amen. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.